Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Today, our Marvel Legends reviews continue with this builder figure, Vulture Wings Wave, and it is the Spider-Man Homecoming homemade custom suit that is featured in the film. Obviously, we've only seen the trailer so far, but really, really looking forward to seeing this film, and it's great to have this costume as well in figure form heavily inspired by the Scarlet Spider-Man from the comics, just the colors are inverted a little bit. But it comes with some accessories, it looks like a detached hood, and then of course, a build a figure piece for Vulture. So as always, we get a picture on the side, this is Tom Holland from the movie of his other suit, then he gets the back packaging to himself, a little read up, and then as always, we get a list of all the figures in this wave to complete the Vulture build a figure wings. Today we're reviewing the homemade suit, Spider-Man. Another picture on the side, the same one, and there he is. So yeah, without further ado, let's open him up and see what we got. Pow, and here he is out of the packaging, and first impressions is I really like this figure. All we've seen so far from the movie as of this day, recording this, is the trailer. And I really like how this looks in the trailer, and it's come across so well in figure form. Hasbro, fair play. As you know, I'm biased to MCU figures. I want them all in my collection, and this is a must-get if you're a Spider-Man fan as well. And that's even without seeing the movie, so I'm sure once I've seen the movie, I'll appreciate this figure even more. In regards to accessories, he comes with a piece to the Builder figure, Vulture Wings. Look forward to building this guy. I'm doing that review next, along with the Vulture. I genuinely haven't built it yet. I was saving it until the review, so I cannot wait to build it and get a massive MCU villain in my collection. So yeah, subscribe to the channel, reviewing the Vulture next. He also comes with uh, the hood up accessory and then two interchangeable hands as in a swipping web swinging hand and then a fist so you can have him punching the vulture or swinging from building to building. Uh, we get no web crawling hands but I can live with that. These two are sound. All right let's change his head a little bit. It should be nice and easy. Head pops off. Interchangeable piece for the um, hood down look which I quite like. Simple but effective. And then, okay, so let's put the head in the hood. I don't know if that's even going to focus, but yeah, let's put the head in the hood and then see if we can pop the head on. Did that pop? There we go, that pops. Cool. So, oh, he's a bit twisted, but there we go. So there's Spider-Man with the hood up, looking very inconspicuous. No one can tell that's Peter Parker. And yeah, looking really good. I like it a lot. I think I prefer the hood down look, but both look to great. Um, obviously it's a brand new mold with everything. I really like the details all the way down to like the string from the joggers. Um, he's obviously wearing a hoodie. Where you can even see the pockets. Um, did he paint that spider logo on there himself or did he buy it like that? Who knows? He's got the custom made web crawler hands as, um, with the web shoots. I'll zoom in a little bit and show you. Um, it's a very simple paint job, but in regards to the details, it's really nice. So yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see what we got. So is that focus? Cool. So yeah, as you can see, I'll drop them down a little bit. Very nice. Nothing on the back, no logo or nothing on the back. Very simple. The logo on the front is just as it is. And then as I mentioned on the arms, He's got these homemade web um, cartridge holders from the cartoon. That's what I sort of missed about the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is that he never had his actual web cartridges. And as a fan of Spider-Man from the original cartoon, the Tobey Maguire films always seemed a bit weird that he could actually produce his own webbing. Um, so I like how they've kept it um, with the web cartridges and it's all about a genius guy in technology. Cool, so let's zoom back out, drop the camera a tiny bit, and um, yeah, I'm a fan. Really like it, you wait down to the creases in the joggers, the boots, Ex um, articulation is really good as well for a Spider-Man figure, you can get him in some good poses. Um, again, won't talk too much about articulation because it's pretty boring, but yeah, he's gonna do everything you want him to do even down to the ankle pivot. Can you stand wide? Oh, there you go. 
Glenn Webb would be proud, wouldn't he? Look at that. Are you going to stand? Pow. There we go. So let's compare him to some other figures. So here he is compared to the Pizza Peter Parker Spider-Man and then also the Ultimate Peter Parker. Uh, for people asking, can this unmasked head fit on this guy? Let's find out live, shall we? Whoops, sorry, Peter. Um, and no, the ball peg is too small. I don't know if you can tell that well on the camera, but the ball peg in there is tiny compared to that. You'll probably see it better on those two guys. So um, yeah, unfortunately no head swapping, but we are getting uh, an unmasked Tom Holland head with the Spider-Man 2 pack along with the Iron Man Mark 47, which is gonna come out very soon, I suppose. Um, I have no doubt they're gonna have leaked package photos of that um, coming just before the movie as they're gonna want all merchandise out. Um, and especially now that they've shown the Iron Man armor in the trailer already, I'm sure they have no doubt with showing off the figure. But yeah. Don't worry people, the unmasked Tom Holland head is coming and I'm going to have to buy that two pack just to get that head and I. That sounded weird. Moving on. And just because I had these figures at hand because I used them for my last review, here is Spider-Man UK and then also a Spider-Man 2099. Obviously a little bit taller than them, but a little bit smaller than them both, should I say. All three of them on completely different moulds as well. This one being a lot more bulkier. This one's a much more athletic style build, if you will. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit smaller than both of these guys. And lastly, not the best setup, but here he is compared to all the other figures in the wave that I've reviewed so far. So far, so far, including Moon Knight, Beetle, Tombstone, Cosmic Spider-Man with the Earth-13 unmasked Peter Parker head, and then also the other MCU Spider-Man costume from the Homecoming movie here in the middle. So, so far looking good. Nice mix of MCU plus comic character figures. Look forward to building Vulture necks. Uh, really look forward to building those wings. Genuinely not built those wings yet. I'm saving it for my review to give you my first impressions. And since I've seen a picture of those in January, I was looking forward to getting this wave. So exciting times. Full, uh, Vulture review coming next, along with his Builder Figure wings. Make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you on the next one.